Welcome back to my channel. It's Krista here to do the weekly reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know your Moon and Rising sign, Pisces, there's a link in the description where you can find your whole birth chart. And that way, for additional information for the week, you can always look at your Moon and Rising sign readings in addition to your Sun sign reading today. So this is for Pisces for the week of September 5th to September 12th. We're using the medicine card to row for your three card spread today, in addition to the bottom of the deck card for general energy, and then using the wisdom of the oracle to row and healing with the angels to row for additional message cards. So this is a general reading for your sign. Whatever is most prominent in your life this week, Pisces, I encourage you to take these messages and apply them too, and I hope that you find them helpful and healing. So what does Pisces need to know? <laughs> I keep shuffling. <clears throat> so I'm looking for three individual jumper cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cool. Wow, so you've got a really intense energy week ahead, Pisces. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just going to get a little I, um, overview of what's going on with all four cards here together. Um, this is an action week. Something is actionable, uh, but could leave you feeling drained, especially if you are out for revenge or anything of that sort, or even if there is an element of wanting to prove someone wrong this week. Um, perhaps you're looking at issues of um, uh, reparation, um, uh, karma, in terms of you wanting a karma paid off or you paying off a karma um, and having that weigh heavily on you um, because you feel as though, erroneously, that you're in charge of that and you're not. Um, so you might be messing with your own mind this week for no good reason. Um, and you're going to steal a lot of energy from yourself by doing that when you could be acting as a leader and just moving forward in positivity. Uh, perhaps there is an overfocus here on the past or issues that are completely either out of your control or just over um, that are playing on your mind or heart. Um, and there's an opportunity this week to, of course, get to the root of that and to walk away from that, which doesn't serve you. Uh, we are looking also at an experience which could elevate you or completely sink you. Uh, this is a mind frame week for you. And like I said, it's actionable. So I'm going to suggest here, Pisces, that you um, are very, very, very thoughtful about how you're about to act in a situation that you um, find displeasing this week um, because it could very well come back to bite you, especially if you feel you're acting in pursuit of a karmic issue in order to hurry that or to uphold that or you feel somehow in charge of that. Um, that's just not the case. You, No human being can be in charge <clears throat> of uh, enacting karma. So this could be a boomerang effect to you either way if you are able to let something go and just forge ahead um, ignoring the haters as it were you will find yourself three times further ahead 
However, if you feel that you're in charge of enacting that karma for some reason, you're going to hurt yourself and you're going to find yourself three steps back. Okay, so that's what's going on generally with all the cards here. Let's look at these one by one. The mountain line being your current position or representing you is leadership. This is where you have an opportunity to rise above something Pisces. And I'm going to suggest this is where you feel probably evident in the face on the animal here that you're being attacked or someone's trying to bring you down or you've had enough of something or, you know, someone has to learn their lesson. They really need to be uh, shown the door. Someone needs to know who's boss. This is going to be an attitude this week. Um, a great deal of aggression is being meted out this week. Um, this is what could bite you in the butt, okay? This is also if you believe that this is a karmic issue, if you feel at all on any level, and I mean this, that you can hurry this somehow or that you're in charge of this, it will bowl you over. So please really give a lot of thought and attention um, and heed the element of trying to control the uncontrollable because it won't amount to a neutrality. If it, if it did, I'd say go for it. What's the harm? But that's not what's going on this week. This week, if you are to meet out a reparation or a karma, it will, it will undo you. And you don't want that. You do not want that, Pisces. It, it's a really good week for you to look past something that pisses you off, I'll be honest. If something gets under your nerves, under your skin, especially if it's over and over and over, the same thing, the same person, the same conversation, the same feeling, um, if you don't learn how to get rid of that yourself, fighting that or trying to impose that on someone else, um, not the way to do it this week. And if you're tired, if that's where it's coming from, if you're actually physically or mentally or emotionally tired or exhausted, you need to take a step back, okay? You need to give yourself a break. The weasel is in the influencer to the current position. Of course, this is, uh, wow, I just had it in my head. This is stealth. So we're looking at an issue of stealth, looking how to, um, I'm going to hold that up in just one second. My hair fell out of its thingy. Um, yeah, we're looking at a way to get past something, through something, over something um, in a really quick, efficient manner. And normally, that'd be great. Get through something troubling in an efficient manner, of course, right? Who doesn't want to be efficient? Tricking yourself into believing that you can enact karma, uh, first of all, is a lie. And it's a damaging one. Um, you're not in charge of that. And th why would you think you were? So why would you be trying to fool yourself here? Um, why are you creating conditions by which you can fool other people or allow yourself to be fooled? Stealth is a great idea if you have a project to complete, if you have um, an agenda to enact that isn't for the highest good. However, you're being asked here to watch yourself. Something isn't what you think it is. And, and the behavior or act that you intend to do this week or intend to produce this week um, is going to make you feel small. This is asking you to stop. You need to stop or slow down on something here. Um, and very specifically around an event that needs to, and I, I'll say this for the last time, if it has anything to do with teaching someone a lesson, you need to let that go, period, okay? Spare yourself, because it's, you're the one causing yourself a lot of heartache and anguish here, okay? By allowing this to take over your world or your heart, your mind, your soul, whatever. Probable outcome card is deception. This is a high magic energy sorcery card. This is you taking karma and trying to fit it into a box that you want to fit it into. And this is the boomerang. This is the boomerang. If you're to let something go this week, you'll move ahead. It's like a board game. Three, you know, roll this dice, get this card, move ahead three steps if you're not trying to enact or promote or control reparation. 
If you are, get this card, roll that dice, go back three steps. Where do you want to be at the end of the week, Pisces, is what it's saying to you. You need to let something go here that you're allowing into your world. You are giving something way too much power over you uh, when you could be just getting on with your life. In the overall energy for the week is eagle. This is spirit. This is absolute spirit. This is source. This is God. This is energy. This is Gaia. Whatever you consider source or God. And of course, we're looking at, you know, God energy, source energy, highest unknowing, unknowable, untouchable, um, here with deception, magic, um, uh, witchcraft, sorcery, uh, occult. Um, even if you don't feel like you have this energy, we all do. Uh, so don't fool yourself into thinking that you don't. You know you do. Mm, but what are you using it toward? These can work in tandem or these can work in odds. Here's a difference. And, uh, and literally, there's black magic and there's white magic. And they act the exact same way. Here's the difference. It's intention. Okay? You are incorporating magic into your life this week. There's a great deal of enactable intention this week, but you have to rise above something. You, another way to frame this is to say to be the bigger person this week, to stay in your own lane, pay attention to yourself, stop letting the haters get you down. Um, let other people be. You're not responsible for them. These are some things that you can look at this week if you find it challenging to stick to yourself. Pisces, no place like home. This is where you could be most comfortable and content. Of course, um, if you're not already here or have this available to you, you could be yearning for this this week. Um, but certainly this could have to do with your home or could have to do with family of some sort. So if it does, it's very important for you to let something go here because everybody deserves peace. And this week, if you are engaging in this type of behavior, it's going to be the, it's the antithesis to peace, okay? Um, but what do you desire? And if this is what you desire, the peace and the contentedness, and this is how you're willing to behave, they're at odds. They're literally um, in opposition. So uh, be very, very clear about your intentions this week. And, uh, you know, of course, another way to frame this in a more um, pop culture way is to say, you know, um, don't go to the dark side, right? Stay in the light. Um, listen to that Yoda. Don't listen to that. Um, we had a, a bunch of cards there. I'm just going to look for one here. You know, don't listen to the Darth Vader part of yourself. Listen to the Yoda part of yourself. Okay, it's a nice little pop culture reference for you. It's also a nice mind frame to remember how you feel on a regular basis. If you feel like content and comfortable, cozy, relaxed, cared for, and respected on a regular basis, why don't you turn to that this week? Okay, I had, wow, there's a bunch jumping over in clumps. I'm really just trying to get one card for you here. Sweet. Archangel Michael. All right. So this is where you're being asked to look for assistance or help. If you feel for whatever reason that you're just so angry or overcome by something this week, you may have to ask for help from Archangel Michael. I can speak from experience. He is always available and he will help. The trick is to be very, very, very careful with your intention. Be very specific about what you're asking and very specific about what you want to happen. Be aware here that trying to ask for help in enforcing something that you have no business trying to enforce um, will backfire as well. So don't ask for help trying to hurt somebody else because it'll happen and you won't like that. Um, ask for help in getting over this. Ask for help in finding a way um, to heal from it. Ask for help in trying to forgive the other party or person or, or, or yourself. Uh, but 
if you're asking for help, especially from spirit source or God in trying to hurt somebody, get somebody back, make something hard for somebody, etc., it will re it will visit you three times over. So take the high road this week, Pisces. That is your reading. If you have any comments, please leave them below. I'm genuinely curious to hear them. And of course, if you're not already, subscribe to my channel because I upload videos for your sign every single week. So until we meet next time, take good care, Pisces. Bye for now.